Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and with this part, we are going to start a new series on React plus Redux plus Saga. If you are a student of React JS or you are working on React JS, then I am very sure you already know about Redux. At least you heard about Redux, right? But you may not hear about Saga. But don't worry. In this complete series, I will tell you each and everything about Redux and Saga. I will make you zero to hero. I will give you interview questions. I will give you code, everything that you need to know, right? So that is first part, and uh, you can say that that is introduction part. That how uh, we are going to proceed with this course, and uh, what we are going to learn in this complete course, right? So first question you may have that why we need this course? Uh, there is a already uh, React JS and Redux course, but why we need that separate course? See, we know that React JS is really powerful. and if we add redux inside it that is actually more powerful but if you will add saga with both of them both of them then that is really a powerful combination right but you may have question that what is the use of saga and you may have one more question that what is the use of redux see i will make a separate video video on that topic uh like i will show you the diagram i will just explain the architecture of uh, saga redux how it actually work and everything but for a moment if you want to understand that redux provide a state management or you can say that global state management uh, let's say we have the 10 or 20 component in react js from component 1 you can store some data in redux and you can uh, get it in the any component like component 10 component 9 component 15 you can get it anywhere that's why we we'll, we will use redux so now what is the role of saga when you want to handle the asynchronous operation with redux that time saga actually come in the picture let's say you want to call a api and this api have huge data it takes uh, 20 to 30 second to just get the data from uh, uh, backend that time redux will help you to uh, saga will actually help to manage this data because see we know that javascript don't wait for the result right that's why we use promises and async await but how we can use async await promises with the redux that is really complicated right so that saga is actually easy tool to handle these kind of asynchronous operation that's why we use it and one more thing if you want to If you try to find the document for React plus Redux plus Saga on internet, then it will really hard, right? If you will find the documentation, they will not complete actually, right? You will definitely find the documentation for React plus Redux or Redux plus Saga. But if you want to combine all of the three technologies, it's really hard to find the well documented thing. So that's why we need that course. Now, what we are going to learn in that course. everything from scratch we will learn how we can install react how we can install redux saga how we can uh, how it's actually work architecture everything we will learn from scratch that is a complete course with the each feature of redux plus saga we will learn examples with interview questions so that when you are uh, just watching this video you will automatically get prepared for interviews also you will get the code of this project on github right so i will make a separate branch for separate video and link will be provided in the description box and that is completely a job oriented course as you can see that code is available interview questions is available examples is available so that is a completely a job oriented uh, course and that will definitely help you out to get the better jobs now what we will find in that course step by step tutorial for redux and saga setup how we can call api with the redux uh, how we can store data in redux how we can get data in uh, redux uh, and everything we will do with the help of saga right uh, routing some hooks of redux uh, mini project you can say that that will be a mini project and interview question as i told you in the last slide also a mini project what we will do in that part Uh, that will be not a complete e-commerce project i will make a separate e-commerce uh, project that will be uh, you can say that lots of apis uh, css uh, and uh, you can say that uh, um routing complete routing and react and redux that will be a complete part but now 
there is a mini project here we will just create a listing by the searching product add to cart feature checkout page and that will everything will be with the help of redux and saga right okay what we will then learn in the next part the next part is really important here here i will tell you what is react what is redux what is saga with the help of diagram we will understand working process we will understand architecture also and i will tell you what is the difference in all of them because when a new bake come in uh, uh, that uh, technology like react then he actually got confused that why should i learn redux and saga also because react is already powerful so i will explain you everything why we need all these things and in next part there is a lots of interview question also so don't miss that part and uh, the link of complete playlist is given in the description box for uh, 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 this series right interview question for that part why react js is actually fast we say or we all always say that uh, react js is fast react js is fast why see when other technologies actually update any uh, element okay let me give you an example so let's say you want to update a input box on the click of the button that time what actually happen in the other technologies or other framework or libraries where we don't use uh, virtual dom actually so they repaint the complete dom right so if you just want to change from x to y in our your html page page that they will repaint the complete dom of your page that's why they are slow but that is the uh, case of in react it will not actually repaint the complete dom it actually make a copy of previous dom in a virtual dom and copy of the latest dom and it will compare and it will check that what is the latest update that time it will update the only required thing or required element not complete dom that's why react js is fast how it actually work second question is that it help with the uh, virtual dom virtual dom means it will make a copy of actual uh, dom and it will that uh, virtual dom will actually help us to compare the current dom and the previous dom and if we will find the difference then we can definitely make a specific change in our html page right and third thing is what is the name of algorithm that is used for comparing the dom that is the diffing algorithm right these are the three interview questions and in the next part we will learn lots of interview question lots of thing so don't forget to just watch that part also and i need your support so please like this video share this video comment on that video and please subscribe that channel also thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate your time thank you again